I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go around again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Gamers, gamers, gamers. It is actually the time that I guess you've probably all been waiting for. It is time for the grand opening. That's right. It's time for the big opening. So if you've been watching Zero to Hero on YouTube, you might be thinking, where are all the hours going? Why do they just keep going up? We're not seeing anything. Or you might actually be seeing a massive skip in the hours. But go well, I'll tell you why that's happened. I'm making four legendaries. I'm getting all of the trinkets done. Vision, Aurora, Coalescence, Conflux. Maybe even a Gen 3 legendary. So maybe five legendaries. A huge part of that is just grinding. So for basically the last 200 hours or so, I have just been pure grinding the entire time. You can see this is the account value of the account. So... This is today's date. Our account value is 19,000. Uh, one month ago, approximately, it was 13,000. So in the past month, I've just been grinding like a lunatic. And we've actually increased our account value by a little under 6k. So we found about 6k gold uh, over the past month-ish, kind of. We did get a 2k infusion drop, so make it more like 4k. But we haven't seen the full story just yet. Because we've got a lot of stuff to open. And before we open them, I'll talk a little bit about the backbone of the content. So I've been doing tier 4 fractals and challenge modes and wrecks more or less every single day. It's absolutely god tier. You get ascended. You get loads of gold as you're about to see. You're going to enjoy this. This is going to be a really juicy opening. I've been doing daily strike missions. Uh, that's just loads of gold, loads of materials. Volatile magic, uh, shards for getting gear, and eternal ice shards, which have basically been allowing me to skip a huge amount of open world farming on the legendary quest. It's absolutely busted. Um, I've been doing world versus world weeklies. Um, check this out. Oh yeah, we've been going hard. Um, normally with legendary trinkets, you have to do a lot of achievements on every single map to unlock skins. I have actually saved up every single reward track from Living World, so we're going to completely circumvent that immediately uh, and also get loads of extra mystic clovers to contribute towards that and of course the world versus world weekly has just been funneling some really solid gold uh into our account world versus world is actually pretty good right now and of course we needed to do that anyway for our legendary uh ring from world versus world and then after that i've just been doing a, a very standard core end of dragons meta train uh namely dragons end then saitung then immediately after the leviathan and also um the maze right the zendajon maze which gives you loads of jade rune turns you get the amber because you get your uh antique summoning stone all that kind of good stuff but yeah that's basically a summary i'll probably have a separate video where i actually talk about all of that in detail and kind of go over the routine of how i managed to actually pull this off uh but <laughs> it's time to actually get some stuff done and, and this first part is actually really funny you're probably noticing that my inventory is absolutely disgusting right now that's because i've been saving every single ascended ring and trinket drop and the reason for this is because i wanted to show all of you why it's kind of good to use salvage kits on these because i know that a lot of people actually flat out vendor ascended rings i'm about to show you why you shouldn't do that um because that's going to be our first order of business is cleaning up this absolutely putrid inventory by salvaging or all of our uh, ascended rings here. So we need to go to the Mystic Forge for this because we're going to do a little trick to actually squeeze out a little bit more value as well. <laughs> I'm negative. Look, we've got a bit of coming back to do, okay? I've spent some gold today on doing some legendary collections and buying a few things for legendary. So, but don't worry, that number is going to go green very, very quickly. Uh, so... What are we going to do here? I think it's worth talking about how Ascended Salvaging works. For every infusion slot on a ring, you roll on a drop table to get Stabilizing Matrices. Stabilizing Matrices are a pretty expensive currency uh, that you get from Fractals, right? Uh, and you can obviously buy these, you can sell these, right? And you can see a 30 silver each. We're going to be selling these or just using them in some way to get our legendaries. But... What you can do to get a bit more value out of your rings uh, is you can do... Oh, oh guild... I, don't, I just got a random guild mission. 
I like it. Um, we can go ahead and attune the rings first. And the way you attune a ring is like this. This is going to take a bit of time. You put the ring in, then you put a Philosopher's Stone, an Agonized Essence, and a plus one Agony Infusion that I need to go ahead and get out of the bank. And we're going to repeat that process for every single ring. This is going to take a little bit of time. We might have to go and buy some more Agonized Essences because I have an absolutely disgusting amount of these things uh, to actually get through. Wait, did I just... This is going to take ages, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. Trust me. It's going to be a big payoff. It is worth doing this. Technically speaking, you could also infuse your rings. However, um, this isn't necessarily worth it. Okay. Yeah, and uh, all of the salvage kits I got are drops, by the way. Uh, I think it actually is worth it to buy them, even if you don't get them. But yeah, you can just uh, you can just use the drops and you should be fine. Most of the time. I'll get some more from the fractal chest as well. So I think I can probably, I don't, I won't need to buy any, I don't think. They're surprisingly, as long as you're patient and you kind of wait out the variants, because you don't always get them as a drop, but as long as you kind of wait out the variants, you'll be fine. Right, let's do this. Let's finish forging the remaining rings. Okay, so let's just put the recipe in. Uh, actually, I'm going to, oh, check this out. You can combine your salvage kits. Oh, I could have done that in the fractal one. You can trade five singles in for a, uh, for a five, but like you can forge four fives into a 20. Man, this is going to be really juicy. I actually want to... I'm going to be really curious on how many stabilizing matrices we're going to get out of this. It's going to be pretty hefty. And bear in mind, these are... You get... A, I think you get like a guaranteed drop from challenge modes. It's one of the reasons why challenge mode fractals are so good. Uh, in addition to like all of the regular loot. And I guess we're going to get more from opening all the chests. Oh, no. The, I, I think I've underestimated this. I think we need more agonized essences. I think we've actually undershot here. Which I guess is good. We're being a little bit efficient. Yeah, this is not enough. This is flat out not enough, guys, is it? Oh my god. Wait, no wonder my inventory was so bad. I've been carrying around like over 60 ascended rings. You know, I think people are going to enjoy that. I think people are going to enjoy that part of this uh, this series. The 60 ascended ring inventory. Don't have enough fingers for all of those. Oh, was that it? Okay. That's all of the rings. So we'll need a few more anyway, though. Okay. Let's get salvaging. Let's do this. And we're just going to see how many uh, we end up getting here. I'll use the singles first. I'll put that stack there. Here we go. All right. So we've already got 227 uh, stabilizing matrices, which as you can see is quite nice. That's 80 golds worth of stuff there. Okay. Let's open our fractal chest. So this is 75, right, uh, fractal chests, which is... 25 days of fractals. So we've been saving this up for nearly a month. Let's see what we've got. I'll do the Rex ones first, I guess. There we are. Okay. Good. I mean, that's a lot of fractal pages, man. I mean, if we want to get fractal god, I guess we're in luck there. Uh, let's do... And here we go. Here are the chests. Oh, look at all this! This is... <laughs> this is insane. Look at all the loot, guys. Man, I'm not getting that many Ascended chests, though. What the fuck? Although, I guess we haven't done the Master ones yet. Oh, yeah. Wait, there's more rings! Ah! <laughs> it's getting worse! This is bad. Okay, we're in trouble here. I mean, and wait. Th three malicious chests of boots. Are you kidding me? Are we messing about here, Aina? Are you, are you having fun? Um... We've got a bit of a situation. I only got I only got one ascended salvage kit. That is horrible. This, this, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go buy some more salvage kits. I guess it's time to buy some salvage kits, guys. I think it's time to go back to fractals. Okay, right. So I, I bought the essences, right? I did. Okay, now we must begin the process again. Philosopher's stone, agonized essence. Plus one infusion. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit disappointed with the fractal loot. I think I've actually kind of low rolled. I only got three ascended chests. That's actually very mediocre. Then again, I haven't done... I think the master has by far the highest chance to drop them. So maybe I shouldn't complain just yet. My account actually hasn't really been that lucky. People, the thing is, is that I just roll a lot. Like, th this is actually something that's really important to note. I, I've had some good drops, but mostly because I roll a lot. I did Dragonstorm nearly every day for a year, right? So, of course, I'm going to get something. Right? Or at least something that's, like, semi-decent. Okay, vendor that stuff. 
All right, and now we begin the salvaging. That's the key when it comes to luck, is you just have to roll, right? Like, if you're... You gotta be in it to win it, as they say, guys. Nice! Okay, nearly two stacks of stabilizing rages. That is tasty. Okay, now we have to high roll. Uh, wait, can I open this? Oh, yeah! We didn't get the 20 though, man. We Look at all these singles. I mean, we're getting a lot of uh, single ones. Why is it more? There's more rings. This is horrible. Okay, we actually managed to open all the chests though, right? A chest of helms, a chest of his. Wow. Honestly, I, fractals were not kind to me. They were not kind to me at all. But you know what? That's okay. Sometimes... The game is just, it's just not really feeling like you should get the best loot ever. And that's all right. Yeah, I didn't really get anything super exceptional there. But hey, it's still going to be pretty good, right? We're going to make some serious money. And now the real fun begins. We have the encryptions. But yeah, you can see here, we've got nearly three stacks of these stabilizing matrices. I mean, we still haven't salvaged everything. I'm almost not sure if I can even mentally handle it, right? Like, we still have a lot more. I need another salvage kit at this point. All right, I'm going to save some inventory space by actually using the keys on the encryptions. Wow, do I not have enough? Oh, I actually don't have enough. That's ridiculous. Or maybe I... Wait, do I... Am I really out? Oh, yeah. Okay, we need 225. We can actually use some of our fractal challenge mode currency to make that happen, though. So that is the good news there. Don't need any of those ascended things. Right, let's go get the salvage kit and get this done. Look, we've actually already burned off all of our loss uh, just from that, which is pretty big, right? And it's going to get a little better as well. I think we've done all of our mystic forging. So let's go ahead and buy a 20, I guess. And salvage. Okay. Boom. Boom. I'm pretty sure you make money off this as well. Yeah, look, oh, 10 in one go. Let's go, dude. That's a juicy one. Huh, huh, huh. Wow, we're going to need another salvage kit. Look at all those stabilizing matrices. That is powering. That's funding the legendary right there. Okay, good. Right, now I can probably just buy sets of five and get this done. Boom, boom, boom. Look at all that ascended salvaging, guys. It never ends. Another five. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, we need another five. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. All right, there we go. Now we can do singles. We need one, two. We need two more. Wow, I actually thought I wouldn't need to buy that many salvage kits, but here we are. Down to 31 gold. But, what a glorious place to be. Look at that. So we ended up um, getting out of that, out of that entire process, uh, 866 stabilizing matrices, which is some pretty good money. Uh, how much gold do we make? Honestly, no idea. I'll force the editor to calculate it. Ha 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 ha. But there it is. And now it's time for the second part. Now it's time for part two. We're now going to open all of the cracked fractal encryptions. This is going to be so juicy. So in here, you just get materials and junk items. And these junk items just sell for vendor gold. It's actually one of the very few and, to be frank, kind of overpowered sources of gold in the game. Fractals every day is the best value you're going to get. They're absolutely broken in terms of account value. I'm genuinely amazed Aina hasn't nerfed them. They probably can't do it because everyone would just freak out and go unhinged. But yeah, it's absolutely busted. This is going to be a big sell. I, I like how my camera is shaking, by the way. You guys see that? The camera was just shaking there because of all the items that were being opened. It could The game would just had no idea what was going on. Okay, here we go. Yes. And there we are. We're going to need a few extra keys, but that's okay. We can buy a few. There we are. My inventory is actually going to fill... This cell is going to be biblical. I hope you're ready for this. This is going to be fun. 
I need to get rid of these. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. Look at all this stuff. This is ridiculous. It's out of control. Uh, I'm just going to delete the recipes. I have absolutely no use of this. That should give me enough inventory space to get the job done. Okay. And now I'm going to buy a few keys. You can get 10. Oh, nice. I actually have the deeply discounted ones from today. So that's 30 free. You can get, you can buy 30 keys um, every single day. This gives you profit. It's worth doing. And you can just do that at the end of your fractal career. It's technically even worth it to buy them now, but I don't need to. So I won't. So we need 58 more. I'm just going to buy five using the fractal challenge mode currency. I don't care about fractal god right now. Um, so we can just go ahead and do that. And then we can still make a whole bunch of gold. There we are. And that should be enough to open all of them. Oh, really? I'm one off? Are you kidding me? I can high roll a key. I didn't get a key. All right, I'll buy. I'll fine. I'll buy one. And there you go. Oh, uh, yeah. And that one dropped a key. Very funny. Okay. So, as you can see here, we now have a whole bunch of items here that just sell for gold immediately. So, this should be pretty good. Okay. Sell junk. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Look at that. An immediate 500 plus gold instant sell. That is what I'm talking about. And that is just straight to the wallet gold as well. That's beautiful. And by the way, we're only just getting started as well. We still have to sell all of these uh, plus ones too. We've got so much more to liquidate. Like, I've got so much more stuff to open and materials to go through. So we're not even close, guys. We've got a lot more uh, selling to do. That account value is going to go up. I hope you guys are ready to see some green numbers. Unless it goes horribly wrong, of course. But it shouldn't do. And the Ascended is... I actually really got unlucky on the Ascended. Not only did I get the same chest three times in a row, I also didn't get that many chests. That's kind of, uh, you know, a little unfortunate. I've also been saving up all of my scavenger bags, magic trophies, that you just get for killing stuff. So let's go ahead and open those. That's a bit random, but let's go, I guess. And these are actually really nice. They're worth about two silver on average. And they can just get you any material. Like, any material from any tier. Of course, we need, we need every tier of material. Tier 6 through a tier um, 3, I think. Uh, in order to make our legendary, so having these is really nice. Well, uh, not any tier six, like it's the magic ones. It's like bloods, dust, totems, and venom sacks. There we are. Good. Lovely. Okay, that is now done. Right, now what I've got here is I also have all the uh, strike mission loot that I've been saving up as well. So let's see if we get anything. I'm not actually expecting this to be that spectacular. So if you're, you know, if you're like, if you're like, whoa, strike loot, probably don't get your hopes up. This is probably not going to be very good, but let's see what happens. So what you can get from these, you can get just, you know, some rares and exotics. You can get some ascended gear and potentially even precursors. I've actually never seen a precursor drop. Let's see if it happens. Here we go. Wow. I mean, that was, that really was disappointing, wasn't it? Oh, a scented rifle. We take that. Okay. And a short bow. Okay. Okay. Nothing there. And, yeah, nothing really there. Ah, unlucky. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't really expecting it to be that good. Uh, to be honest, we can probably just... In, we can just sell these things to the vendor, right? Like these upgrade things. I'm not really super interested in them, so we can just sell them for a bit of free gold, I guess. No, not... Yeah, I, I, the strike mission loot, I always found it a little disappointing. Uh, it is definitely not the most exciting loot uh, in the game. That is for sure. Okay. Man, I'm just, I'm just keep looking over at the screen to see the next update. The next, like, account value update is going to be... It's going to be good. I am ready. I am ready for the value. Can sell these exotics too before we move on to the next step. Because the next step is actually one of my favorites. Uh, I think I, I think you guys are going to think I'm unhinged for doing this. But the next thing we're going to be doing is actually opening a whole bunch of uh, Tyrian defense seal containers from Dragon Response Missions and Dragon Storm. I actually really like these because they're really high rolly. They're insane variants. They're a lot of fun to open in my opinion. Um, wait.
Oh, it really is as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that. It feels so good. Uh, it feels so good. Open the strike mission loot, and there it is. I flame the strike mission loot, and it's a 600 gold tonic. That's what I'm about. That's what we like to see. It really isn't hard. It really, really is not hard. 600 gold locked in. To be honest, I'm probably not going to be able to sell it for 600. To be fair. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see what we can do. But anyway, you know, now we're up a pretty cozy 1,000 gold already. 1,000 gold in one day, no big deal. And that's, of course, excluding the account value there. Uh, so, let's have some fun with Tyrion Defense Seals. Oh, yeah. Oh, do we haven't even done the World vs. World stuff yet. Are you kidding me? Dude, the account value. We're over 20k. There it is. 20,000 account value. I love to see it. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to get my Olmakan boxes. And let's go ahead and go to Eye of the North. Okay, so I'll tell you a little bit of a secret, by the way. Uh, if you do Dragon Storm, you get about 50 Tyrion Defense Seals every day. Um, you actually get discounted ones. Almost all of these are actually worth buying, by the way. So I'll actually do that just to, to demonstrate. The, there are some ones that are good. Not all of them. Definitely check Fast Farming, by the way. Uh, but yeah, these ones are really good. The Coden one and the Olmakan one are worth buying. However, you can actually do this every day and get like significantly more value, actually. However, I'm very lazy and I don't really... I'm not very good at doing that. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and buy oh, 100 Olmakan supply boxes. So in theory, these are actually worth about 100 gold each. I actually even did daily dragon response missions just so I could get to my goal of having 100 of these to open uh, all at the same time. Yes, let's go. All right, let's see how good this is. This is going to be big. Oh, no, my inventory can't handle it. That's bad. I mean, I could deposit here. That would be lame. I kind of want to see what I get. Right, we can. We got to clear some space here. I think this bloodstone dust has kind of got to go. I think this is actually shaping out to be very disappointing. But, you know, RNG giveth, RNG taketh away. Uh, like I said, very, very high rolly uh, are these. Like, you can definitely get completely screwed. And you might be witnessing that. Uh, you might be witnessing that now. Although, you know, I said that with the, you know, the other loot, I guess. Right, final opening. That was terrible. But you know what? It was fun. That's the final loot there, guys. It's a bunch of materials. I don't think it was very good. I think that ended up being very mediocre, um, I'm afraid. Very, very shockingly mediocre. Okay. But, hey, not too bad. Free gold is free gold at the end of the day. And hey, we've got a lot of armored scales now. We do need those. Ooh, big deposit. Okay, juicy. Right. Uh, now, next. Volatile magic, right? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay, here comes the volatile magic, guys. So, of course, over time, I've been building up a lot of volatile magic. Just over time. And now, we are going to convert it into tier 6. Because we can basically... The way you can think about what happens here is that you can buy you can buy discounted tier 6 materials um purely with volatile magic and a bit of gold right so that's what's happening here that's what that's what you can think of this as so we go over here to i, I kind of want to turn like blish i don't really need you right now uh so you go over here and we're going to buy trophy shipments and we can buy 119 so it's a one gold investment uh, to get this done. Uh, but here we go. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab this, I think. Actually, I want to leave... I'm going to go a little cautious. Let's just do 100. I, I don't think I need any more Voltar Magic, but I'll leave myself a buffer just in case. I don't want to get caught without having an, any uh, Voltar Magic. I have some Eternal Eye Shards that I can convert to Season 4 currency that I can then consume. But just in case, we'll just do 100 for now. Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. That is beautiful. Nearly 100 of every, yeah, oh, about uh, over 100 on average of every tier 6, which is really nice. Super good. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Right, what is next after that? Uh, I think... I think it is going to be the world versus world stuff. Is it the world versus world? I think it's the world versus world stuff, right? 
Yeah, it's the world versus world stuff. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. So this is actually something that I've been working on for quite a while now. Because um, I knew I didn't really want to do all the achievements. I'm not really much of an achievement hunter. I wanted to entirely circumvent all of that stuff. And instead, I thought, well, I like World vs. World. So I'll play a lot of World vs. World. Not only did I want to get the World vs. World trinket anyway, right? So might as well, right? Um, I also was able to complete an absolutely disgusting amount of reward tracks. And I actually have all of these potions banked up as well. These potions of world versus world. Uh, and I did a bit of PvP daily as well. I've got some potions of PvP reward as well. And we're going to use this to blast our account value. Look at this conversion. We're over 1,000 gold up at this point by the time it will update again next. And honestly, it's going to be, a, I think we're going to be a lot more. We've got another couple of hundred left in us. So here we go. Now we have the potions. And very simply, what we're going to do here is, well, you can see what I've done. I basically left all of these reward tracks that will from Living World Season 3 and 4, which give me the choice to pick the skin, which essentially finishes the achievement. Because if you look here, right? I've done basically everything for Vision and Aurora. I just need the skin. And guess what? The reward track gives you the skin. So if you don't want to do achievements, you can skip it entirely by doing PvP and World vs. World. Because, you know, normally what you need to do is you need to complete this to get the skin. Uh, but I'm not about that. We're going to do PvP and World vs. World instead. So... Uh, and we can just finish it off now by having all of these dailies. And, oh, I can actually do scavenger bags on this guy as well. Oh, this is maybe not a very smart idea. Uh, there we go. Yeah, oh, uh, oh, there we are. Inventory space still under control. So, let's get this done. So, bit of frost frontier. There we are. Got that. And you can see that we get... Oh, well, I guess we get a free thing there. And here we go. We go ahead and pick our glacial gauntlets box. And alongside that, we're going to get a bunch of other random stuff, including Mystic Clovers that, yeah, guess what, are going to be really convenient for us for getting that legendary. So that's the next one uh, completed. We got that one done. So let's do Bloodstone Fen next. We need two potions. And they, there we are. We're done. Bitter Frost, uh, Frontier Hero. That's also locked in now. So we're completing Aurora at the same time. Bloodstone Crown is what we need. Unlocked, and that's going to be a Bloodstone Fen Master. Now, complete. We'll salvage these while we're going. I think we can just actually vendor these for. Yeah, we can vendor those for two gold each, which is just a nice little bit of free profit. And let's continue. Uh, the next one. Let's go to Domain of Istan. I'm not going to do them in any particular order. There we are. Istan is now completed, and that means we can pick the Corsair Turban. Oh, we get a bit of free Volatile Magic too. That's quite nice, isn't it? And you can see those clovers starting to pile up as well, which is super cool. Domain of Corner. That's done. Uh, we want the Corsair Jerkin. There we go. And that's another one there. Eight Mystic Clovers now. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And next we can do Dragonfall. I wonder if we're going to run out of inventory space. So there you go. That's Visions of Corner is now completed. And we can go ahead and pick our Heavy Corsair Boots, I guess. Wait, that's what we need, right? Yeah, Corsair. Wait, Corsair Boots? Yeah. Oh, you don't even need the skin from Dragonfall, do you, actually? I just did that for fun, I guess. Uh, but anyway, we continue. Ember Bay is up next. There we are. Another reward track completed. Ooh, what do we need? We need the Dragon Scale Epaulets, correct? I'm just going to actually check so I don't uh, mess up here. Okay, hang on. Uh, so, Ember Bay, it needs to be, yes, Dragon Scale Epaulets. There we are. Get that going. Lovely. Pick any of those. Doesn't really matter. Oh, man. This is good. This is nice. I'm liking this, guys. I'm having fun here. Lake Doric is up next. There we go. Another one. Oh, it's all coming together. And we need the... Uh, wait. Ooh. Wait. Which one do we need here? Uh, we need White Mantle Elite Guard Mask. Okay. Got that locked in. Nice. And here we go. Aurora is about to be finished. Very nice. Very nice. Sandswept Isles. Need two there to get that one. Okay, and we're going to pick the Olmakan Mantle Box. Wait. Oh, yeah, there we are. Good. 
That's now picked up. Look at all these achievements. They're flowing in. Look at all the... Are we going to get 9k achievement placements? Oh, not quite, actually. Silver Waste. This is just a free one um, because this one just gives Mystic Clovers. Might as well get that going. And you can see here that this one, because it's a non-repeatable, seven Mystic Clovers are going to be coming out from that. I need to quickly salvage these to keep up so we can keep some inventory. I'm going to have to vendor this stuff. We're just going to pick anything. I don't really care about this. But seven, 23 Mystic Clovers. Let's go. All right, so Siren's Landing is going to be up next. Here we go. Nice. And we need the Mercer Brogan box. There we are. Good. Right, I, I'm actually going to vendor some stuff real quick. I'm just going to sell the skins because we've unlocked them anyway, so they can just be a bit of extra free gold for us. Okay. Nice. Okay, that should be good for us. 25 Mystic Clovers are now fully enabled as well, which is lovely. Thunderhead Peaks. Next skin. There we are. Sirens landing done. And actually, that's Aurora. There you go, guys. Aurora Awakening done. We're now, we can now actually go and move on to the next part if we want to. So this is just a very easy. Just It's very quick. It's like half an hour. You just run around pressing F pretty much. Very easy. Corsair Leggings. There we go. That's Thunderhead Peaks. Vision of Thunderhead Peaks is now completed. Gift of Valor. We have that for our legendary collection as well. Okay. And we've still got a few more to do. And there's Verdant Brink. Ah, yeah, and that. I think we're done with all the reward tracks, right? I think that's all of the important ones. Yeah, we have... Yeah, we need to finish Islam. So we've got the time get there, but yeah, everything else is done. And now, here is where things get even more exciting. So... Um, all the non-repeatable reward tracks, they give you seven Mystic Clovers for the first time. And, that's right, I've got, uh, over three, well, about 300 potions of World vs. World reward. So guess what? Yeah, that's right, we can now beat all of these really, really quickly, uh, and really efficiently. Uh, which is going to essentially, you know, push this even further than it already is. We can just get ourselves about another 21 Mystic Clovers, which is absolutely fantastic for our account value. Oh, my gold ometer! I, I forgot to fix this bug. It doesn't work when it goes over a thousand. We're going to have to basically guess. Okay, we can fix that in post. We can fix it in post, guys. It's all good. Um, but anyway, uh, ooh, oh, no, oh my god. This is going to get so dumb. Okay, so for a start, we're going to do Bjora Marches, because this one's even better than seven. This one gives 11 Mystic Clovers. Oh, yes. Oh, this is so silly. It's so silly, guys. It's so, so silly. So let's go ahead and finish this one immediately. Okay. There we are. Uh, Dragon Render, we can just pick this. Another two gold from the skin. Uh, and we can just open this, and there you go. Look, five Mystic Clovers from this one. Oh, yeah. And there's actually a few more things that I haven't uh, actually quite opened yet. I don't want to deposit the Clovers. I, I want to keep them in full view. I want the full glory to be maintained. I might have to do a bit of inventory management on this on this real quick. I'm going to sell those ingots. I'll just sell the bag. That's not good, but I'm too lazy uh, to do anything else. Okay. Boreal skin. I think I actually care about the Eternal Eye Shards more than the skin. I don't really care about the skin whatsoever. Uh, I'll open the rare. Here we go. And I'll sell the helm. Things are getting a little cramped in here, but we are opening a lot of stuff, so I think that's fair enough. Okay, I'll consume the luck. That can give us a bit of breathing room. Okay, uh, so Bureau Marches is done. And those there are more clovers in there, by the way. Um, there's one here, for example. There's two here. Take another... Eternal Ice Shards. No! I deposited. I'm not very good at this. I admit it, guys. Look, it's a weakness, all right? It's a weakness. You've got to know your limits. You know, you have to know your limits. And this is definitely one of mine. Um, okay. And look, 200 Clovers. We passed the 200. My inventory is full. Oh, no. This, this is just... This is bad. I'm, I'm going to sell some of this stuff. We can, look, we can handle this. I can do this. Okay. Sell the mithril. Get rid of the shovels. Destroy the literally worthless material. Salvage this. We're making it happen, guys. The ascended materials have got to go, guys. They've got to go. This is actually taking quite a long time, isn't it? Uh, okay. 
So let's see. What am I doing next? I did Bureau Marches. Oh yeah, now we're going to do Grothmar because Grothmar is nine Mystic Clovers. So we can get another huge amount of Clovers from here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I wish I had fixed that bug with the account value. Oh, this is so terrible. We can probably actually... We, what we can do is we can use efficiency to kind of figure out just how, about how good it was. Okay, we've got Xmash. We've got Rock Out too, which is like a nice bonus meme. And look at that. Let's go. Five more Clovers. Okay. It really is Inventory Wars too, isn't it? Crikey. This is an absolute disaster. Okay. We're still looking good. We're still going strong here. The grand opening is paying off. Oh, wait. We actually haven't even got everything yet. Oh, oh no. Oh, dude. You know, this is a bit of a downside of the old microtransactions thing. Because, of course, uh, this the inventory stuff is deliberate. It's to make the game kind of annoying. Um so that you feel the need to spend money. And believe me, I do feel the need to spend money. But for the good of the zero to hero, I will resist, um, at least for now. Well, forever, I won't spend money on this account. Right, I'm gonna have to get rid of this siege. All right, just delete that. Ballistas, go. Catapults, go. Gotta keep it up. Imagine if we get the Count Ur right now, by the way, guys. Like, you can actually drop the heart of the Count Ur from this. Let's see if that happens. Didn't happen. Unlucky. I mean, if that had happened, uh, that's that's the moment where you have to, like, delete the account because it's, like, the opposite of Cursed. Oh, and another four Mystic Clovers. Let's do this. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? It is beautiful. Okay, so now we're up to 211 Mystic Clovers. Which, and by the way, we only need a total uh, of... 300 approximately to make all of our legendary so this is why this is so nice to do because gambling for clover sucks and it's expensive if you have a little bit of foresight right a little bit of thinking ahead you can save a huge amount of gold uh by purchasing your mystic clovers ahead of time or earning them through in-game activities oh we can put the gift of valor in the bank can't we because we that's just going to be sitting there waiting for the uh legendaries to be actually crafted or mystic forged anyway Okay, that's good. Let's see, we can just delete this stuff. And we've still got a good amount of potions left over, so we're not done yet either. So, we are now done with Grothmar. Okay, let me just check I haven't messed up. So now, what are we doing? I think it's Auric Basin is the correct thing to do. Yeah. We're doing Auric Basin reward track for another seven Mystic Clovers. This is actually perfect, by the way. Look at this, guys. I have 100 and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really nice. We have loads of potions. Okay. Right, can I just get rid of this stuff? I don't want this anymore. Okay. Let's continue. I should have probably done the opening on one of my, um, you know, my storage account. That would have been intelligent. Ah, oh, let's do it. Who cares? We're just doing this for more Clovers. This will be seven Mystic Clovers. And after this, we can do the Tangled Depths reward track as well for another seven Clovers. Truly ridiculous. We're also getting Memories of Battle too, which is nice because we need those. Okay. There it is. Job done. And there you have it. Seven Mystic Clovers. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. It's giving me actual mushrooms. I guess that's that's okay. Any shrooms? Is the extra from potion? No, no, no. Bo potions are not affected by boosters. Otherwise, I'd obviously be using them. Nice. Okay, and we can actually go ahead and do one more uh, reward track. And it's going to be the Tangled Depths reward track as well, is what we're going to do. So Tangled Depths is where? It's here. There we are. And this is going to give us another seven clovers. Away we go. All right. 
Yeah, 80 potions for a full track. That's correct. And that's why I was kind of looking at the numbers going, ah, oh, yeah, this is good. We can actually squeeze in. Let's, let's actually get a bit ahead of this. Let's, let's, let's get a bit ahead of ourselves here. Because otherwise we're going to suffer. The inventory is straining at the seams. The account value is now over. We've gone up by over 1.5k, guys. Over 1.5k account value. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can sell the shirt. Don't need that. Let's open these boxes. You know, I think it's normal to gain 1.5k account value in one day. I think that's fair. Are you kidding me? Another Ascended Ring of all the things I need right now. You can tell I'm focused because, you know, th this kind of thing is, is difficult for me, okay? I'm not going to pretend that it's not. I struggle with the inventory, guys, okay? <laughs> it's my weakness. Okay. Consume the luck. We haven't even finished the reward trap. Why does this one? Why does this one give so many mini boxes? Like the Auric Basin one wasn't nearly as bad as this. Why is this one so terrible? It's 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 like the same as the zone. You know how like the tangled depths is? It's just like, it, you know, it's a, it's a zone that tries to confuse you. This reward track is trying to confuse me. We can just pick any chack weapon. Seven Mystic Clovers. Lock it in. Right. Now, is there anything that I have a burning desire to spend my other potions on? Um, not really. Is there one of the reward tracks that we can get to some clovers quickly? The Ice Brood Saga one? No. Is there one that has early clovers? That's the question here. I don't think so. Taily Gift of Battle actually has an early clover. Uh, we'll leave it for now. We'll leave that for now, I think. And honestly, we haven't even converted. We haven't even converted stuff like our Testimonies of Heroics yet. This is going to be a long conversion. Um, this is going to be a big conversion press. We got, we've got more work to do, to be honest. We're not even done yet with this. Okay. Ah, and now a little bonus meme. I've actually got some reward tracks in PvP. Uh, kind of primed and ready to go. Yeah, the Drizzlewood one. Here we go. That's right, guys. I did some PvP dailies, and I thought it would be fun uh, to go ahead and get the Drizzlewood reward track. Because, yep, that's right. This one has 14 Mystic Clovers um, at the end of it. So I figure that we might as well go ahead and finish this one as well. There we go. Do I, I don't think I, do I have enough to finish it? I actually do. There we are. We can use our bonus potion here. Our potion of misreward. What? I'm, I'm, I'm six off. Well, I mean, that's just unfortunate. Unlucky, guys. We need a little, you know, one PvP daily there, you know. Actually, do I, wait, do I actually care about this? Oh, no, I've actually... I've actually made a mistake. I don't care about this. This doesn't have Mystic Clovers in it. It's only these things that have Mystic Clovers. It actually doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about that. It is not important. In fact, I've wasted some of my PvP potions. I do not require... I don't need that. Whoops. That's fine, though. Clovers are Clovers. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Need to salvage that. Get out of here. Hell yeah. Congrats. You played yourself. Yeah, I mean, I didn't waste that many of them. I'm fine with it. It actually sucks because I could have invested a few into the other track. I think I, yeah, I think I was smarter when I was actually planning this. In fact, yeah, you can actually see this, guys. I was a bit cleverer when I was planning this because, look, I actually started on Bureau Marches so I could actually kind of do both, right? Um, We could use, use the potions for both, but I think that is the majority of the account conversion. Let's wait for an account update and see how much gold we just made today. Okay, how many clovers do we have? I want to see how many we have. 229. So I am going to have to forge a few, but that's fine. Um, we're going to need a total of 340? 340? 
308? Yeah, okay. 308 is how many we need. Okay, let's actually get these memories of battle and put them in the bank. Right. So, you can see that we actually have a good chunk of these memories of battle now. We're really getting there in terms of our progress. We do still need a few more of these. I think you need over, you need like 2.5k of these for Conflux. And you need, well, I think you need like 2k, but you need, you need them for every Legendary. So we're going to need that as well. Okay, I think we're about good. Let's actually see what Efficiency says. Oh, this is huge. So it hasn't quite updated on my end, but look at that, guys. We can't we can't see the graph just yet, but we are up to six thousand eight hundred liquid gold on this account now. That is juicy, um, currently with an account value of twenty one thousand three hundred and seventy two. Oh yeah. So let's see how much it reckons it will cost us to make these legendaries. So let's go ahead and put them all in. Uh, here we go. Conflux. Let's do it. Okay. And vision. And we also need coalescence. So, uh, it's 4.8k gold, which is actually about how much we have right now. Uh, but if we set it to use our materials, how much have we saved? Look at that. So yeah, we're, we only need to have a further 1,787 gold in order to craft every single one of these legendaries. That really isn't so bad. Aurora is going to cost us 136 gold. Uh, Conflux is going to be... Uh, 500 gold, Vision is going to be 500, and then Coalescence is going to be 600 there as well. So we're actually pretty much good to go, I think. Not bad. We should more or less have everything that we need to actually get this done um, in terms of like all that stuff. I might have to do a little bit more conversion, actually, of some more, uh, some more currencies because I think we're actually maybe a little bit shy of how much gold we're actually going to require here. Uh, but that's okay. We've got plenty more where that came from, right? We can keep it going, keep up the energy, and we should be basically where we need to be in terms of gold. I, um, I think worst case scenario, what we can do is just do Imperial Favor. It's a little bit boring, uh, but, you know, it will, it will get the job done, right? It will certainly get the job done. Okay. That is pretty much the grand opening. Did I miss anything, guys? Did I miss anything with the grand opening? I don't think so, right? Uh, yeah. That seems to be about correct, I think. With the grand opening. <laughs>